Hey guys, what's good? I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I haven't made a video for a while and I just haven't really been motivated to do that. Um, but I do have a lot to work on, uh, which hopefully I get started uh, by the end of this month and we'll be releasing hopefully more videos on this channel. Um, but today's video is just going to be about the Fuji GW693. I've been getting a lot of DMs on this camera. Uh, about what it can do if if it's recommended and uh, you know I, I've been posting videos on this channel about this camera hopefully it's like the, dem the photos do demonstrate how well this camera is capable for different types of photography and basically that's what this video is all about I'm just gonna pick out 10 of my favorite photos from this camera not in particular order but just to show you guys what you can do when you shoot portraits uh, street or uh, landscape pretty much anything you want it to do and that's what this video is going to be all about so before i get into the photos uh let's talk about the camera a little bit it's a rangefinder it shoots eight shots per roll uh, don't forget to remove the lens cap because i've done photo shoots and shot some travel stuff and left the lens cap on so it's basically wasting a dollar per shot so don't be like me remind yourself to remove the lens cap and um, the shutter speed goes up to 500 the aperture starts from 3.5 up to 32 and it also does have two shutter buttons one in the front and one on the top um, and when you're buying the camera or looking at it through like eBay or something else, uh, make sure you uh, know what the counter, the numbers are on the bottom. Uh, it just shows you how many times this sh camera has been shot. So usually there's, there's uh, not usually, but there is three numbers there. Uh, so for mine is like at 150. So that means that it's been shot, uh, 1500 shots been shot with this, with this camera. And it also has a hot shoe on the top, but I'm not a flash guy. So yeah, if you're interested in that, uh, you got a hot shoe option up there. All right, then let's uh, talk about photos with this camera. Let's talk about portraits first. So with this camera, I've been able to take really good environmental portraits and a lot of them turned out sharp and I've, all of these shots were taken handheld um, with Kodak Portrait 400 so I've been able to shoot also at night and I was really impressed to see how sharp the photos can be um, the only downside to this camera is that it's only a fixed lens and the min minimum focus distance is one meter so you won't be able to get really tight shots so if you're looking for something to have more flexibility, this camera probably won't be for you. So I'd recommend just looking for a system with interchangeable lens and you'll be a, a happy person. Um, but for me, I'm happy for now. I love the results that I've taken with this camera. So I am probably gonna look at other systems, but for now, uh, I'm sticking with the GW693. It just really blows my mind to see how well uh, these photos turn out. Now let's talk about travel photography and I'll combine both street and landscape because that's basically what it is, right? Uh, when it comes to landscape, the lens is wide enough to take really good photos. I've taken a couple uh, photos. It's not really my genre, but I've taken a couple landscape photos and the details from the photos on the six by nine has been really, is, is really good. And actually I'd taken a few a couple of weeks ago and I'm like, I should shoot more landscape photos. Um, so there's going to be, I'm going to be doing more videos on that in future videos. And when it comes to street photography, um, when I'm out traveling, it performs well. So if you're the type to just stand somewhere discreetly and be able to take some photos of buildings or even people, this camera can do it. However, I've been asked if this is a good street photography camera in a way that you can take the camera and blast it on someone's face so i'm not gonna say that it can't but i don't think it's the right camera to do it with it because it's heavy it's loud and it's just in front of someone's face and you're probably not gonna get 
good shots with a roll pretty much you might waste a roll of film if you don't get good results but i'm not saying that it's it can't do that uh, if you're someone who does this and is an ex like a prof professional on it, at it if you're well experienced uh, i think you should give it a try and and feel free to share my share your video with me and or your photos and i'd love to see it um but i'm not saying that it's not capable of doing that but i don't think it's a good camera to do that but uh, if you're someone who's looking into this camera go ahead and try it and see for yourself um, but again it can still take good photos whether you're doing landscape or street photography well anyways i'm going to cut this video for now i hope the photos from this video does help you out and lets you know how capable this camera can do whether you're taking landscape streets or portraits with this camera if you want to see more of my work go ahead and find me on instagram i do have more photos that i've taken with this camera on there and if you want go ahead and leave me a comment or send me a private dm and i'll be happy to answer any of your questions and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel and I hope to see y'all in the next one. All right guys, have a good one and stay safe. Bye.